Hi, my name is Alexander Smith, and I'm an Applications Engineer here with Hawk Ridge Systems. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your own cookie cutter in SOLIDWORKS. I'm going to start by importing the image I'd like to trace, which is this baby Yoda head, as a sketch picture and scaling it appropriately. And I'll use the Auto Trace tool to capture the edges of the image as best as I can. If you'd like to see exactly how to use this Auto Trace tool, I'll leave a link in the description to another one of our videos which covers it in full. The sketch that the Auto Trace tool produces is relatively close to the actual picture. However, it could be much better. As we can see, there are several problem areas that we can rectify using manual tracing methods. The first step should be to try and identify any symmetry in the picture. In Baby Yoda's case, there is a line of symmetry running vertically down the middle of his head. And so we'll create that line of symmetry by first sketching a horizontal construction line from the far corner on one side of his head to the other, and then sketching the vertical center line from its midpoint. To save time, I'm only going to trace one half of this sketch picture. And then once I'm finished, I'll mirror all of the sketch entities across this center line. So I can go ahead and delete or trim away everything on the left hand side of the sketch. Now we can get started on improving this traced outline. First, I'll address the inner ear outline. The sketch profile created using Auto Trace for the ear is almost perfect. All I have to do is move some sketch points around and add an arc to connect the sketch entities. The ear now looks good, so I'll move on to the eye next. The Auto Trace tool created an ellipse for the eye, which doesn't give us the sharp corners that we want, so I'll delete it. Then, to manually trace the eye, I'll use two splines starting and ending in the sharp corners of the eye. I'll do the exact same thing on the nostril, as the Auto Trace tool did a very poor job with it. Because we're going to 3D print this model, it is important that we don't make any features or gaps too small for the printer. So I'm actually going to make the nostril as well as the gap to the center line somewhat larger than it is in the picture to make it easier to print. Moving on to the mouth, I need to drag the endpoints around to fix up the top lip, and I'll replace the line with an arc for the bottom lip. If the sketch points move around when you're dragging other endpoints, try fixing them in place once they're in their proper location, and they won't move around anymore. With all of the interior edges done, I can now move on to the exterior edges. Auto Trace wasn't very accurate here. And so I'll delete the outline and trace it manually using splines starting and ending on the center line. In order to capture these sharp corners in the picture, I create a new spline starting at each corner point. Otherwise, the corners would all be rounded. You'll notice that while placing spline points, SOLIDWORKS snaps your cursor to automatic sketch relations and references, which isn't always what you want. To stop the snapping from occurring, simply hold the control key on your keyboard while placing the point. To ensure that the extruded outline is smooth, I'll make the ends of the splines tangent to horizontal construction lines. And now I'm ready to mirror my sketch entities. I'll use a box selection to grab everything and then select the center line to mirror about. As we can see, the left side doesn't match up perfectly with the picture. That's because the picture is in fact not perfectly symmetric, but we can be assured that our sketch is, so there's no need to worry. I'm now ready to extrude my cookie cutter. The easiest way is to use a thin walled boss extrude, selecting the contours I would like to be used as cutting edges, which would be the outline and the eyes. I'll set the wall thickness to be one millimeter and the depth to be 20 millimeters. Then, for the ears, mouth, and nostrils, I'll create a standard extruded boss with a depth of 15 millimeters. These extrusions will create an impression in the surface of the cookie instead of cutting it for an extra layer of detail. We're just about finished here. The last modeling step is going to be creating a thin backplate which connects all of the extrusions together. I'll do this by extruding the inner region of the sketch a depth of 2 millimeters. Then I'll add a small fillet to this face to give all of the extrusions a smooth edge, as well as increasing their strength slightly. And we're done. The last step to complete within SOLIDWORKS is to export the file as a 3D printable STL and send it to our Mark Forged X7 3D printer.
And here we are with the final result, which is a 3D printed Baby Yoda cookie cutter. It works very well and produced some fantastic cookies. So that's the end of today's video, where I showed you how to make your own cookie cutter with SolidWorks. And now, I'm going to go eat some Baby Yoda head cookies. Thanks for watching.